Alright, so 16 days out, back day again at FX, and I gotta be on set later on today. And uh, I gotta film before I get on set, because I'm releasing the book this week. Gotta get some things done. So it's gonna be like a very short workout. So I'm actually put into action some of the videos I do, top three best workouts to do, whatever. Basically, I'm doing that. I only have a f about an hour tops, like top to top to tops. So I'm gonna do three exercises. We're gonna do pull ups. That's gonna be my high pull. Then we're gonna do high row with the um, medium grip inside this way. And then we're gonna do uh, a seated row. And that's it, and that'll be it. So, and then we're gonna literally rest like two minutes max. So it's gonna be pretty exhausting. But just right now, I need to see a bunch of blood in the muscle. I'm trying to expel energy. I'm jumping and little reps. I'm gonna be in straps. Work smart and hard. That set took me like almost about uh, almost a minute. So I got till five minutes to start my next set. So I have a minute to do the actual exercise. So basically like two, five, seven, do a set at two minutes, do a set at five minutes, five, seven, no, five, wait a minute. Damn, I don't know. This is my high row. I'm gonna give a little body English. I'm gonna do a little cheat reps. I'm gonna have a little bit of a lean back. I'm gonna do a little technique where I'm just gonna let the, my lats wrap around my, my rib cage will look like. So I'm gonna get right underneath this. It's gonna be a full extension. But I'm gonna be here. So I'm gonna basically start from here, pull to here, all in one motion. So I'm gonna here to here to here. And it's gonna come back, it's gonna wrap. See how it's wrapping this way? So I'm getting that scap retraction and I get that angle for my, for my traps to work. If I'm up here too much, then I'm not really getting, the line of pulling is not as great on my traps when I'm trying to, when I'm protracting and retracting, it's greater here. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this to get the best of that world and then come all the way up to get the best of that full range of motion from the top. I'm gonna tear the pull from here or from here. Out. I'm gonna crease the load a bit. Give my arms a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go to like 150. I'm not gonna lie. My forearms are burning before anything else. Use straps, but they're just like, they're just fatiguing. So used to training mostly fasted. So the last two days I've had my pre-workout or my meal in the morning, or here's been 45 grams of cream of rice, uh, one scoop of ice of smooth, tablespoon of, weight tablespoon, 15 milliliters of almond butter. That's it. 
and that you can, I can feel a massive difference. I'm just getting pumped in places that I've never felt pumped so much before. All right, we're gonna switch up. We're gonna go to the uh, low hammer strength machine row. Uh, very low, like basically like almost like you're doing your, your transition to your back double bicep. You're basically doing this. So we're gonna put a little angle on there, lean a little more and get a nice low lat. It was cool seeing the kid yesterday. It's funny because when I go to different gyms, not necessarily here, but like when I leave, when I go somewhere, and it's happening here too, and I'll see someone like look like what I'm doing or like what Dr. Mike Isitel is doing or, you know, Mike Van Wick, whatever. Full range of motion, like you can see the intention in the person's eyes and see their focus and their full range of really focusing and whatnot. I immediately, I'm like, I wonder if they watch, I wonder if that person watches me, Mike or Mike or whatever. It's pretty cool. And then, yeah, they, the answer is always yes. There's little nuances here and there and some, you know, variables you can like, you know, use some measure or whatever RPEs and IRs or whatever. But like when it comes down to the basics of it is just being in, intentional and aware of, you know, contracting the muscle. You're contracting, you're moving, controlling the entire thing. There's not a method. It's like the carpenter went through some type of training and the, the first class he was doing had like how to properly swing a hammer. I don't know, I haven't been in shop class, but regardless, I'm pretty sure. It's like, here's the basics of how to swing a hammer. And if you do this, this, and this, you're gonna hit the nail every single time. It's not a method. It's just like, this is how you should be doing it. Here's my rant of the day. So my weight is gonna be on the top of this. It's not gonna be pushed through here, right? So I'm using this to kind of give myself a little bit of a balance. But my weight is on, is on here not down here, because I'm not doing this. I'm gonna do that. <sighs> Might be ditching this thing. After this, I'm gonna do four supersets of bicep dumbbell bicep curls, and then bent over um, dumbbell with um, reverse fly. So the reason why I'm doing bent over uh, reverse fly, because I'm doing back, and I haven't done much to challenge my erectors. So that's why we're doing this. I'm gonna give a little English there, a little bit of cheating for that reason. I'm basically gonna do like a little bit of a, a back extension while I'm doing this set. So I'll kind of do this, right? When it, the heart, I'll do this a bit. It's a little bit advanced. It's really not that difficult, but anyway, that's why I'm doing these. With these, so bicep curls first, chop the weight, and then 40 for bicep curl. That's the workout. We have pull ups, high row of the machine, low row, superset, 
Dumbo bicycle curls alternating with bent over redone flies. That is it for today's workout. Three exercises for back, one exercise for buys, one little one for shoulders, and little lower back. And this is imposing 16 days out from the Masters Olivia. Keep following, binge watching my videos. Till next time, you know it is Iron Shepherd's Iron Progressive Overload Your Life. In the meantime, keep team chasing! Keep team chasing. Peace.